Hi, I'm Larry Kelly. I'm the director of the Graduate Studies Program at the New York Botanical Garden. And my name is Natalia Pavon Mora. I am a faculty member at the University of Antioquia in Medellin, Colombia. Natalia is one of the star products of our program. She graduated in 2012 with a PhD, and today we're going to sit down and talk to her about her experience at the garden and her research projects. To start with, how did you find us? Why did you decide to come to the New York Botanical Garden to do your PhD research in plant science? I came here to use the facilities, um, the SEM facilities in particular, as I did not have those in Colombia. And I quickly realized that the program here was a wonderful place to be for a grad student. And to me, it was very clear since the beginning that there was a very um, broad community of people interacting. There was people working in horticulture, as well as in floristics and systematics and genomics. and that would just be perfect for a grad student. How about these dis disciplines and how they come together at a place like a botanical garden? How, is that, how would that experience be different from what you would get if you got, did your PhD in a university biology department? The garden has curators that are experts in basically literally every single branch of the plant kingdom. You get people working that are experts in algae, as well as in mosses, bryophytes, uh, ferns, lycophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms. That's something that you will never find in a single faculty in any university. Mm -hmm. So for a plant um, graduate program, this would be the best place, I would say, to be at. So you came here then to study genomics? Yes. So what, for, for our audience, what is genomics? You can think of genomics as um, a discipline that aims to understand how genomes in the organisms are put together. So you can think of genomics as a way to really basically ask very fundamental questions such as why are leaf shapes different uh, in species that are closely related? Why are fruits so different if they come from the same floral organ? What questions did you ask or what did you do for your PhD dissertation research? So um, my project was framed on the ABCDE uh, model of flower development and this model basically explains how different genes uh, provide the identity for each floral organ. And um, what I did was I concentrated my research into one set of those genes, the A class genes. And according to the model, those genes were supposed to um, control the identity of sepals and petals, which are the sterile uh, portions of the flower. And what I found out is that those genes actually do a lot more functions outside of the model species that is Arabidopsis thaliana. Mm -hmm. uh, in other plants, those genes are actually involved in um, architecture in the plant. They shape the architecture of the plant. They are also involved in fruit development and they also do functions in um, leaf shape, which was, you know, very new and now it really challenges the way the model uh, works outside of model organisms. So what, what are you working on now? So in the tropics you get plants that are not like the model. You get all sorts of um, differences, shapes, uh, variation on that ground plan. And that really allows me to have a lot of different research questions around the same genetic model. How does that model feed other um, floral shapes that you might not even find in, in, in temperate areas? From your experience, what, what advice would you give to an uh, enthusiastic young student of biology who's thinking about going to graduate school? As long as you're passionate about your work in plant biology and as long as you're uh, perseverant and dedicated, uh, that's going to take you as far as you want to go. Frustration is, you know, it's, it's high, especially when you're starting your uh, PhD program, as a lot of the things that you're learning are new and challenging. But um, don't let frustration to get in the way of answering those very exciting questions that you really want to answer. 